Hi, it's Slater. In 2016, I made a video about an easy wind-up helicopter that even young kids can make. In a class pack of kits, for a cost of about a dollar each, kids are empowered to assemble a flying machine that can fly as high as a big tree and take it home for further experimentation. These helicopters work well with groups in just about any setting, in classrooms, to bustling science events inside, to sitting on the grass in a field at an outdoor festival. This is a timeless hands-on science project that'll never go out of date. There are a couple of additions I'd like to make to the original video, however. Like how to hold the rubber band in the back. If you just slide it on the back of the fuselage, it slips off when you wind it. I used to say, make a hook in back by taping on a plastic cotton swab stick or a bamboo skewer. And you can still do it that way. But a simpler and lighter weight way is to make a notch. You can do it with a pair of needle nose pliers. You sort of crush the balsa and pull it out. Or even just use a pair of scissors to notch the end. When kids get stuck trying to tie the knot in the rubber band, I prefer to give them a little head start rather than do it for them. I make a loop like this and I say, what do I do with this end? And they usually get it and say, put it through. And I say, do it while still holding on so they can concentrate on the end and loop. The other update has to do with the wings. We have to keep the fuselage from turning too much so the propeller can turn more and do its work. Many people will just use a quarter sheet of printing paper. But some people at a nature center had a dragonfly themed event, so they really needed long, narrow wings to resemble a dragonfly. Paper does not have the rigidity. A thicker piece is too heavy. Cutting wings from disposable foam plates was not an option for them. So I made some long, thin wings from packaging foam that I recycled and cut thin. I found that it's best to preemptively put some tape on both sides of the middle of the wing, where the stress is the greatest. If they still break, it's easy to tape them, again, on both sides. You can get helicopter kits, or separately, foam wings at the Science Toy Maker website, linked below. Set, go. One, go. Sarah, ready? Ready? Oh, Sarah! Where's the sub pop? Four, three, two, one, go! 